Hi everyone, um, it's Miss Blizzard here. I'm um, just doing a really short video for you today to launch our very exciting new enrichment offer for you. Um, it starts today and I want to show you the details and show you how you can sign up for some of the new activities that we've got. So it's really important that you don't just come to school to learn the stuff in your lessons. School is about so much more than that. We need to help you develop the skills that you're going to need to get a job one day. Um, you need to help develop some social skills and maybe even spark an interest in something new. Some of my best memories from school are the enrichment clubs I was a part of. And I'm really keen for you to all have an experience like that to look back on one day. So you will be very familiar with this. There's not much changed here. Um, PE have a very, very well established enrichment programme. We know how much effort the PE teachers put into their extracurricular sport. It's also been really positive um, to hear the lovely stories coming about the new CrossFit gym. So this sheet really just puts all of the sport information in one place for you. And obviously, if you don't yet attend a sport club and you'd like to, I'm sure Mr. Farrah would be thrilled to have lots more people signing up. Um, and the only thing really to notice here is some of the activities, for example, CrossFit on a Monday, it says which year group it's for. So you just need to have a little look at those um, just for where uh, it's important with sizes of groups and that kind of thing. And very similar to sport, we also know the Performing Arts Department, they do a huge amount of enrichment work already. I know loads of you are really busy practicing for ELF. Um, but again, I've just put everything here in one place for you so that you can see what we have on offer. I'm sure also Miss Head Edwards and Miss Eden would be thrilled if some more of you wanted to join some of the performing arts enrichment. So why not have a little look and give one a go this half term? OK, so this now shows us some of the new activities that we are going to launch this term. I know some of these exist already. So, for example, Chess Club has been running for a little while, as has um, Pokemon, um, not Pokemon Club, sorry, Puzzle Club. Um, but we've got lots and lots of new things on offer for you. Your teachers have put a lot of thought into these activities, and I'm sure there'll be something here for everyone, something to spark an interest. Um, some of these titles are a bit unusual, so I've put a little bit more information for you on the following slides. So we can see here, Brannell Chef Club. So this is going to be run by Miss Round and Mr. Leo. And you are going to learn to cook some meals on a budget, design a menu and hold a pop-up restaurant. We're very, very keen to turn Brannell into a restaurant for one night only. Um, and they've made some links with some professional chefs who would um, work with you on that. So it's very, very exciting. Coding Club, so that's with um, Mr. Makepeace. Um, as you, most of you know, coding is not my forte, so I'm not going to pretend I know what you'll be doing in those um, sessions, but it does look like it's going to be a very, very exciting activity um, for those of you that are really interested in coding. We've got Harry Potter Club. So this is going to be Miss Harrison and Miss Ireland are going to run this on Tuesdays in E1. And you're not just going to read Harry Potter and talk about the book. You are going to look at the book from loads and loads of different angles. So you can make potions. Um, you are going to look at some of the art, look at some of the music, all the different subjects and how they link to Harry Potter. And I also know there is talk potentially of a trip attached to this enrichment activity. So if you love Harry Potter, this might be a good one for you. Mr. Coles is going to run Jurassic World. So this is um, a really, really interesting part of science that isn't in the national curriculum anymore. So we don't get to teach you about dinosaurs in school, but we know that loads and loads of students love dinosaurs. So this would be all about fossils. You would meet a paleontologist online and have a chat with them on Zoom. And uh, Mr. Coles is also really keen to take the students to the Jurassic Coast um, to see if they can find some fossils. So that one's going to be on Thursdays in C6. And we've got Astronomy Club with Mr. Reed. So um, the balcony in school was actually set up originally to enable us to use telescopes and things. Um, and it's not something we've done much of. So Mr. Reed is really keen to work with some students to get some new equipment in and to do some really good astronomy work. He would also hold some evenings at school in the dark so you can see um, the night sky <laughs> at night time, which would be really, really exciting. 
Okay, and the history team are going to run an activity called On This Day in History. So, kind of does what it says. Each week when you go there, I think you'll look back at that date and you will learn what happened, what significant events perhaps happened on that day. Um, and finally, Miss Hazelton is going to run um, Christian Club. This is at lunchtime, so all of the other ones there were after school. This one's on Friday lunchtimes in E1, and that's for students um, to work together, perhaps to discuss Christianity, to um, maybe do some charity work, um, and just have a, a nice sort of social group together. Okay, so that document that I've just shown you is going to go live on the school Facebook page today and I'm also going to send it home. What I need you to do now is to follow the link or scan the QR code to sign up to activities that interest you. It's really important that you take this seriously. I would love it if everyone in the school did at least one enrichment activity. This could be lunch or after school. Um, remember after school, um, the late bus runs Monday to Thursday at half past four. So. Um, we can get you home all right if no one's able to pick you up if there's something that you'd really love to do but or love to try but are unsure if you'd love it or unsure if you're able to stay after school or whatever it might be please put it down that you'd like to have a go we can then have a chat with you to see if we can support you in some way um, to make sure that you're able to do that this is the first time we have done this in this way as a school. So please bear with us while we iron out any teething problems. We're really committed to developing a fantastic enrichment offer for you all. But as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day and we might need to make some tweaks as we go. If you've got any ideas for clubs that you'd like us to run after Christmas, please pop and see me or send me an email. I can't wait to see these clubs in action. Um, please enjoy it and make sure you give 100% to each activity to get as much out of it as possible.